The transition to the States is not an easy one, but if you're coming from Sweden, you're welcomed in Rockford onto a team that feels like home. For the first time in IceHogs history, six players from Sweden landed a spot on the IceHogs roster. By far the most Sweden-born players in Rockford's locker room for any one season. The family of Swedes includes Carl Dahlström, Eric Gustafsson, Lars Johansson, Martin Lundberg, Robin Norell, and Victor Svedberg. The Swedes have made their presence felt claiming at least one position on the roster, including four defensemen, one forward, and one goalie. Yeah, we've had a lot of Swedes here over the years. Um, they're always hardworking individuals. Uh, they always bring it in the games and work extremely hard at their craft. And, um, you know, they're easy to get along with and they're good teammates. So it's been a good experience having all the Swedes here in the past and this year as well. Svedberg was the first Swede to land a spot on Rockford's roster and this season feels the most like being at home. It's been a little different because we have six guys on the team right now. Uh, and four of them are defensemen, so uh, that makes it uh, a little different. And uh, we have one Finn who actually knows a little Swedish, so five of our seven Ds uh, knows a little Swedish, uh, which uh, usually is, uh, isn't the case here in America. With ages ranging from 21 to 29, each of the Ice Hogs Swedes are approaching a different stage in his career. But Svedberg says their backgrounds help formulate a family that extends off the ice. I think we match pretty well. Uh, we're all a little different age and uh, in that case so uh, well, half the part is a little older, half is a little younger so uh, I think it's a good good mix. Not only is the transition to the states over 4,000 miles, the game of hockey is different as well. Uh, the ice here is smaller and it's, uh, it creates a different kind of game and uh, that makes it, the transaction can be, transaction can be a little hard but uh, usually Come into smaller ice is usually a little easier because uh, it's a little, you, it's tighter. Everything you get a little bit less time, but everything goes a little faster, and a lot of guys like that. Spedberg acknowledges his leadership role amongst the group, especially for young guys coming over here. It's it's uh, it could be a challenge being by yourself, but I, I can imagine it's easier to have a couple guys here helping you out. Been here for a couple of years, and uh, now it's where where you find homes and uh, all that stuff. But uh, in the locker room, I, I don't think about it too much. It's more of outside of the ice. I've helped out a little bit. It's been different and it's been fun for us guys and I hope we don't talk too much Swedish around in the locker room. The strong Swedish ties on the roster have pulled the six skaters closer together. However, head coach Ted Dent takes the division between Swedes, Canadians and Americans more serious. Uh, it's something we talked to the team about earlier in the year and to uh, a group of the Swedes as well to make sure they um, socialize with their teammates at the rink and away from the rink so they don't um, segregate themselves and become a, a little click, if you will. So uh, that's something we talked about earlier in the year and they've done a real good job uh, being part of the team. The group began as a small home away from home for six Swedish skaters adjusting to a new life in the States. We come here, it's an adventure, you want to meet people from all around the world. We meet Canadian, French Canadian, Americans, Finns. We have a lot of different culture and it's very fun to get to know people from other spaces, spots too. A team divided nearly by thirds comes together to form the Ice Hogs 24-man roster. For the Rockford Ice Hogs, I'm Holly Sias.